Today I'm talking to a very interesting journalist from Hong Kong in China who is visiting Oxford again after about 10 years and we've been talking about a very interesting subject which is self-branding. Now Sharon for our listeners and viewers yes. what do you say self-branding is? What's the yeah. object. Yeah, thank you so much Professor Noble for inviting me. Well, self-branding actually is a very interesting topic. Um, it's not very popular in Hong Kong right at the moment, but it's very popular in the U.S. I was told that almost all the final year students in the U.S., they, they need to take this course. Um, is to teach you how to do your self-branding. So what exactly it is? It yes, is you have to, to say, that's yes, right. It is to how to reinvent yourself, yes. your value, your positioning, your personality, your strengths and how to excel yourself um, among all the competitors. So um, I think um, self-branding, everybody needs to know it. No matter you are, um, you are a celebrity, um, you are a politician or you work in the government, um, for self-branding actually is for everyone who want to succeed. So um, um, also this is my first time to teach um, in the Chinese University of Hong Kong um, about this course, self-branding. Um, so all my students are the final year students. Um, very interesting topic yes. to them. They, right. um, it's actually before this course, they, they have no idea what self-branding is. So just so that I can understand and yes. so that the viewers of Voices from Oxford can understand, mm -hmm. just as a big company like Samsung or Marks and Spencer uh, or uh, Boeing needs to have a brand concept where they project the company's uh, logo, yeah. um, identity, mm. spirit, right. corporate spirit in particular, yeah. and how we relate to you, the customer. Yeah, and exactly. So on. All of that, but done as it were for a person. Yeah, it's who exactly has the same. Develop, exactly the same, exactly right? Exactly the same. To? So that yes. you will treat yourself yes. as a company or you treat yourself as a product, but this product is so unique. Yes. There's only one you. In There's the only one you, yes, There's exactly. There's only one so. you, so that um, is a very, it should be, you should be very competent to, to brand yourself because you are so unique in the world. There's only one you here, right? Yes. So then what you're talking about, the concept, how to brand in company, exactly the same that when we are doing the self-branding. First of all, you have to um, identify your uniqueness. What is your strength? Mm -hmm. And what is your witness? You have to admit you have the witness. And then, um, it's actually branding is a kind of mind share. It's not about it's a market share. H uh, how much that you get people's mind about you. Um, there's people's impressions on you. Um, we would say that a product is a kind of thing that you um, you consumed, right? But branding is something that you pursue. Uh, if you've got a very good branding and the people would like to associate with you, they, they come after you. Yes. They so want to work with you. Exactly. So the aim is what we're doing now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we like interacting. Mm -hmm. But that leads me to another point about um, people working in various walks of life, including commerce, universities, or whatever it might be. Um, there is a view that was very prevalent, certainly here in the West, mm -hmm. in the 20th century, the mid 20th century onwards, that um, you could determine how you behave in a corporation, for example, mm -hmm. by what is in your self-interest. Mm -hmm. Now, if I've understood self-branding correctly, mm -hmm. it's more about saying, why should you be interested in me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have to tell people. Very cooperative, isn't right, it? Right, true. Yes. It's about interaction. Well, it's about interaction, it about precisely. Interaction. So, so the social media is really very helpful. When yeah. you are doing your self-branding, um, social media is totally indispensable. You must use it. Yeah. Uh, social media, the nature is about interaction, it's about engagement. So mm. I like um, what I'm teaching my students, I one of the assignments, I got three assignments for my course, one of the assignments, I asked them to open a fan page in Facebook. Mm. Um, at the very first beginning, it, it really scared a lot of students because they think that, oh, I'm okay to have, a, um, to have my personal page mm. um, in Facebook. But if you say it is a page, that means it's open to public. 
and they they are so scared because they are thinking that, oh, you mean that I'm going to sell myself and it's kind of bragging and I'm going to to tell you what I I'm doing how well I am, but. Um, and and also they, they, they because they, they really worry that I probably I got 100 friend, fan, uh, friends um, but if I open a fan page in the Facebook that means I should more than 100 people join my Facebook right uh, like me I have 50,000 people following me on 50,000 yeah 50,000 people following on my Facebook wow. yeah so so it's actually is that um, do I know all these 50,000 people of course not yeah. But I, why I can track them? Because um, my personality, my writing, my analysis, I do a lot of like commentaries on my Facebook. Um, it's all my viewpoints, my personality, I track them, I track their eyeball. Be it's not because I'm pretty or, or not because I know them. So that Facebook is actually is a very useful social media to let you spread your values. Yes. That's a good way of putting it um, because you said spread your values. Now, earlier on, you used the phrase, sell yourself, or perhaps that was somebody else who used that phrase. Mm. And it seems to me, spread your values is a nicer way of putting it, yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. true. Because it's true. not so much selling yourself yes. as projecting yourself. Yeah, it's a nice work. Yes. I learned from you, project yes. yourself. Yes. That's very true. Yeah. Because um, nowadays, we are living in a world that we are we have so much information. We are bombarded by information every day. Um, so how you can get your message, how can you get your voices out? You've got to stand out. Yeah, you, you have yes. to excel yourself. You, you do, branding is actually is yes. to help you to increase your visibility. Let yes. people see you, exactly. right? It's not being drowned in the information sea. Yes. So um, using a Facebook is a kind of um, is a strategy is help you to make yourself more visible. So um, um, especially to the student in China or the Chinese students, they always have a very um, uh, traditional thinking. If I tell you my achievement, it seems that that I am selling myself. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that. Selling myself this is really not a good word. No, I think projection project yourself, is, is yes, project yourself. Exactly project. So. You let the people know your competency. Exactly. You yes. let the people know your strength. So if the people they need this kind of expertise, they will come after you. They come to you. Yes. So I think this is very important for for nowadays for every students, not only students for uh, no matter artists, politicians, even government policy. They need branding because yes. branding is also a kind of communications. Yes. How can I get the message out and tell you the key message of my policy, yes. and then also manage the public expectations on that policy? That is also branding. Even though you got a very good policy, but you PR in a very bad way, yes. and, and disaster. Yes. It will be a disaster. We, we have plenty of these um, examples all over the world. So that yes. branding is not only um, for, I always want to tell my students, it's not only for the artists, mm. it's not for the people who want to be famous, but it is useful if you want to talk to the public, you really need branding. One final point I want yes. to put to you, Sharon, which is this. You said earlier on, as you were teaching your students uh, on self-branding, which is to say, you are unique. Yeah. Now, there's a biological basis for that. There will, even if I reproduced your DNA yes. in another person, it wouldn't be you. Ah, I see. It would I not see. be you. I see, I see. So you will be... It's extraordinary, isn't it? Because each of us has our unique experiences, right. in unique ways in which we True. have interacted. So it's absolutely true, yes. biologically speaking, <laughs> that there will never be That's another right. you and there will never be another right, right, me. Right, you're right. That's right. Yeah, yes. so that I always tell the students, please know me too. And um, when you order a meal, um, yes, okay, I can follow um, Professor Lobo. Uh, you, you prefer orange as your flute, uh, I can follow you. But when you are doing your work, please don't have me too. Me too is too easy. But Me Too cannot help you to stand out. No, yes. Yeah, remember it's no Me Too. Yeah. Well, Sharon, thank you very much for talking thank to Voices so from Oxford about a very interesting Thank project. you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.